We're Chris and Amy. We love to travel, eat at new places, and explore the Ozarks in the morning. This year, float with us down rivers, go creek fishing with Chris, explore state parks and festivals, and hike with us for incredible views all in our journey to share what our life in the Ozarks is really like. In the fall of 2020, we decided to take the ultimate fall road trip, stopping in Bar Harbor, Booth Bay, Kennebuck Port, Salem, Revere, and Boston, Massachusetts. We flew out of the Kansas City International Airport and flew into Boston International. We were trying to make sure we got there in the peak leaf time and we went in October. Remember to check when the peak leaf time is for the year you are going. After landing in Boston, we drove four and a half hours straight to Bar Harbor. We were staying on Mount Desert Island, which is part of Acadia National Park. We stayed at this great little campground that had these little cabins. Uh, it was a very affordable option. We did it off of Airbnb, had great views, and it was literally just one room and a little bathroom and a little kitchenette area. Um, but it was really cute and it definitely served its purpose. We stayed in Bar Harbor for two nights. Driving into the town of Bar Harbor, you can see all the little places we stopped on the side of the road to take pictures and the leaves were all starting to turn and they were really pretty. Bar Harbor, Mount Desert Island, Acadia National Park, that's all right there together. It's all part of each other. Um, it's really neat. There is not a lot of restaurants that were open when we got there. Again, it was 2020. Everything was, you know, still mandated and shut down at eight o'clock at night and you were required to wear masks. So that was kind of a downer, but it was my 40th birthday. So we went regardless. Um, but there isn't like McDonald's or anything, you know, corporate like that. So make sure you have ate before you got there. We kept thinking we'd eat when we got there. By the time we got there, it was 830 at night and nothing was left open. And we were pretty hungry and sick of eating Cheez-Its all day long. So just make sure you maybe stop along the way and get something to eat. The views in Bar Harbor were great. Um, just gorgeous. Definitely everything I thought it was going to be. I'd always wanted to go to Maine and see the coast. We decided to take a uh, lobster boat ride. If you get seasick, make sure you take something because the waves were going. I did not take anything, but I was still okay. The lobster boat ride was definitely worth it. It wasn't that expensive and we had a lot of fun. They really educated you on different mammals and sea life and they definitely um, took you around and let you see the lighthouses. I learned a lot more about lobsters than I ever could even imagine knowing. When you are going to Acadia National Park, we had to do a reservation system to re reserve a time that we would enter the park. It's all right there, part of Bar Harbor. It's just driving in past like a gated area. Uh, Cadillac Mountain is really high up. And when we started out towards that at our scheduled time, I was driving, which was probably not a great idea. And I'm kind of scared of heights. We got all the way up to the mountain and I did not even get out of the vehicle to take pictures you felt like you were so high up and there was no little railings or edges up on the top of that mountain that's going down the mountain and is about the only time i peeked my head up um, make sure you have your reservation because we saw people being turned away jordan's pond was one of my favorite things i had read about it about getting popovers and tea and it was something we did when we first showed up there um it was um so packed you couldn't park at Jordan's Pond. We actually circled uh, Acadia National Park a couple times and came back later in the day. Um, but I did get my little popover with jam and um, tea. And it was good. It wasn't, you know, anything that I'd wait several hours for. But Jordan's Pond was gorgeous. Uh, my favorite area was Sand Beach in the Acadia. We stayed there and climbed up on the rocks, took tons of pictures. Um, it was 
gorgeous as well. Again, parking was horrible. And even with the reservation, it was just packed during that time. Um, I actually got like a ticket on our car because we parked in an illegal space and it was just a warning. But make sure that you are parking in a actual spot or you're gonna get your car towed. But Sand Beach Acadia was probably my favorite part of, of Acadia National Park. We did the Cadillac Mountain, we did the Sand Beach, we did um, Jordan's Pond, of course Bar Harbor's right there. And then we also did um, Thunder Hole and it was really neat. And the parking for it wasn't bad. People didn't stay very long. And we just stopped and, and there was parking across the street and you were able to park and go down and see it. All of that area was gorgeous, but we did do um, Acadia National Park in one day. I guess if you're gonna do a whole bunch of big long hikes, you absolutely could take more time there. But for us, two days in Bar Harbor was plenty and that's how much time we allowed for ourselves so that we could then head on down the road and go down the coast of Maine all the way back to Boston where we'd be flying out. Uh, be sure to take a good camera, take layers. And again, it was October, and so it would start out kind of cold, but then the more active you were, the better it got. Oh, and waterproof shoes. Chris didn't wear them, but I did, and they were definitely something we needed. So from Bar Harbor to Booth Bay was almost three hours. We stayed at Linda's Place. This was probably my um, least favorite place to stay. I would not rent it again if you guys were looking for a spot. You could barely park to get into it. Booth Bay was gorgeous. Um, they had this big giant pumpkins everywhere because it was obviously Halloween. And you could walk through the whole little town. It was super quaint, super cute, right on the harbor. So we took a lot of pictures of that. Uh, we ate some dinner there and literally only stayed one night there. We just kind of explored the town of Booth Bay really. Um, it was really neat. It was definitely worth seeing and that was like, you know, the third night on our um, road trip down from Bar Harbor to Boston. The fourth night was going to be at Kennebuck Port and this little place we stayed at was right in somebody's backyard and it was positively gorgeous. I would absolutely rent that place out again. The town of Kennebuck Port was very quaint, very cute, lots of little restaurants. I thought I would like Booth Bay better than Kennebuck Port, but I think I liked Kennebuck Port better. Maybe it's just because the place we stayed was adorable, um, but it, it's also the town was really cute. We ate at a cute little deli. We got some cookies and sandwiches to go. We went out and found a beach. I think it was called Crescent Beach, and we sat on the beach and read our books, and they had chairs already out there. There was, of course, nobody on the beach because it was kind of windy and chilly, but, you know, I love an ocean, so I'm going to make sure I'm sitting on it. Uh, we really enjoyed our time in Kennebuck Port. We kind of did a little driving around, found this little area. Lots of history, lots of things to do. I, I really liked it. Again, we only stayed one night in Kennebuck Port. After Kennebuck Port, we headed on down to Salem, Massachusetts, and um, it was about an hour and a half drive. So this was going into uh, our fourth full day. We stopped there to see kind of like the whole, you know, witch trial area. And it's a weird experience because you are like in the middle of a downtown area, like downtown St. Louis and you're downtown Salem and you're just kind of walking in between buildings and then there would be a historic site. Uh, a lot of it was closed. Again, it was COVID. I'm sure if you go now, it's a lot better, but it was enough for us to see. We maybe spent an hour and a half at most in Salem. Uh, and then we headed on down to where we were going to be staying the night in Revere. In Revere, we did not rent an Airbnb. We just did a uh, Holiday Inn hotel close to the airport. But again, Salem was neat. I'm glad I saw it. I definitely wanted to see it. I would never go back. It wasn't that impressive. You couldn't go into any of the witchcraft stuff, museums or anything like that. I took a lot of pictures, though. Definitely did that. And they had some, you know, construction going on as well. So that kind of limited it. I've heard though, if you go at Halloween, they have a whole lot more stuff going on. I'm not like into witches, so it wasn't that big of a deal. So again, we stayed in Revere, which is literally right outside of Boston airport. Um, and we stayed the night there. And then the next day we got up and we headed home. So here's some food that we had along the way. Tons of great food. The Holy Donut we ate at. We ate 
so much lobster. These were lobster crepes in Bar Harbor. Tons of great food, calamari, fresh seafood, scones, just really lobster crepes. If Chris had the opportunity, he ate lobster with every meal. We ate this great little Mexican place. Um, again, more donuts. And this is some deli sandwiches we had in Kennebuckport and the cookies. It was really good food. Food there is expensive. Even if it's like a food truck, we got, um, I think that's a chicken parm sandwich. We got a lobster roll just off the, like from a food truck. And I swear it was at least, you know, 15, 20 bucks right there. Um, but you know, we had a great time. That's that popover from Jordan's Pond. Um, we had a great time. It was a lot of fun. It was good food, beautiful views. And I think the only way to go is to fly into Boston, drive to Bar Harbor, and then come back down the coast so you can get a taste of a little bit of everything in Maine. Two nights in Bar Harbor is plenty, one in Booth Bay is plenty, and one in Kennebuckport. I could probably have done another day in Kennebuckport. Salem is definitely a drive through town in my opinion, not anything I would stay for. If you wanted to fly in just to Bar Harbor and just spend your whole week there, there's plenty of hikes and different things you can do to do that but I wanted to see all the way down the coast as I had been down the um, west coast before and wanted to kind of do the same thing up in Maine. If you have any questions, make sure to put them in the comments. I will answer as best I can. Again, this was in 2020, so I'm sure some things have changed, but this is the most affordable way. If you've ever researched going to Maine, you know that it's kind of an expensive place and the most affordable for us was to fly into the Boston. Flying into Bar Harbor or any of those little airports up there are extremely expensive. Staying at some of these really gorgeous hotels right on the, you know, the bay is also very expensive. Airbnbs are definitely the most affordable option for you to do. These are just a bunch of random pictures kind of all mixed in. Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to check out my other videos. Uh, we have a whole series on our Alaska trip we took in the fall of 2023 if you love that cold coastal feel. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Have a great day. Thanks.